Hey guys, Jack Han here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm messing with some lighting setups right now to try and get you guys the best high quality videos that I can. And I am excited to see how this turns out. Today I'm going to talk about how I studied for the DAT and some tips that will hopefully help you when you're studying for your DAT in terms of choosing the material, how I structured my study time, and little tips here and there that can maximize your efficiency. So we all know that the DAT is a beast of a test, okay? It's four hours long. You get one short break in there to go to the bathroom, maybe eat a snack. Maybe you don't even have time for that. Your mind's racing, okay? But you gotta calm down and you have to think and you have to prepare well. So when you get into that DAT test room, your mind knows it's game time and it knows exactly which place to play at what time. So I personally took the DAT 2018 at the end of the summer. So that was between my sophomore and my junior year. I know that most people take it during their junior year or the summer right after their junior year, but I decided to take it beforehand, get it out of the way. Uh, and then also I was thinking, oh, if I'm studying the whole summer between sophomore and junior year, the DAT material, shouldn't I have a better concrete background going into the next two years of college? It helped a little bit. So the majority of the subjects that the DAT tests on, you're already finishing after your sophomore year. So you have your bio, your chem, and your orgo down, which is a huge section. Also math, it only goes up to algebra two. Even the math section is really simple and there's no high level math classes you have to take in order to do the QR section of the DAT, which is quantitative reasoning which is code for math. So the first thing you need to decide when you're taking the DAT is what course am I gonna take or am I gonna study by myself? So you can take a course in a classroom like a Kaplan classroom or varsity tutors I know they're around and you can go into a class just like you're going to school, they'll assign you homework problems and it's a really structured way to learn the DAT. However, it's often not tailored towards you, so that's the trade-off that you're getting. I would say most people find an online program to follow. I personally did as well, which not only gives you more freedom, but is often around half the price of the in-class DAT prep classes. So I did a lot of research on what the best study material to buy for the DAT is. There are so many out there, and I recommend that you do your own searching as well. However, what I recommend is DAT Bootcamp. So there are other ones such as Chad's DAT Exam Vids, uh, Crack the DAT, DAT Cracker, that's all I have written down, but there's many more online. This video is not sponsored by DAT Bootcamp, but I loved using it. It had a incredible user interface. Um, it had tutors on the side that you could message and they'll respond with, to your question, as well as really in-depth answers to all the questions. Not only that, I think it is completely comprehensive and they have different tutors. So for the PAT section, they have a specific tutor for that just to teach you PAT, perceptual ability test. For chemistry and organic chemistry, they have an amazing tutor named Mike and his videos are really engaging and you always think in the back of your mind like, why didn't I have this teacher in high school and in college and pretty much every class that I could have taken throughout my life. Even if he couldn't teach it, like he was entertaining as well. Mike was so entertaining that a lot of times I wanted to learn and just watch the chemistry and organic chemistry videos just for his personality. Classic Mike. Very, very, very high entropy. Because they're very the person who created DAT Bootcamp, his name is Ari, and he also made a comprehensive guide, a 10-week guide on how to structure every single day specifically, telling you exactly what to do, just like a drill sergeant. So it is great having that structure there and you are you don't have to worry and spend time on structuring, oh, what should I practice today? Just follow his guide and I'll link it in the description below. In his guide, he also mentions two books, DAT Destroyer and The Math Destroyer. So I ended up getting the two books because it was recommended in the study guide. Did I use them? No. I heard that they were a lot tougher than what the DAT was going to be on, 
which is great if you need extra practice or if you comprehensively exhausted all the DAT bootcamp resources, which is pretty hard to do. I think they have a very comprehensive program and I think that you can get a really great score just by using the DAT bootcamp. So generally, it's recommended that you spend around 200 hours studying for the DAT. I estimated my time studying for DAT to being over 300 hours, so I think the 200 hours is a little short. Following Ari's guide, a lot of people get through it faster, some people get through it slower. Uh, I typically got through it slower, so for me to complete everything you know, per day, it would take me at least six hours. I would put in around four hours every day, so I'd have half the day off. So I would uh, skimp out on some things, which definitely showed in my test performance. However, um, it was still good enough for me to get into dental school. So for the biology section, I made note cards, which was very time consuming. It was like a stack this big. And I think the better way if I were to do it again would be to use Anki or Anki. Anki is like a software that uses space repetition to help your brain learn really efficiently. And it would give you reminders throughout the day of when you should be looking at your note cards. So definitely check Anki out. I'll link it in the description below. I think it would be really helpful for you guys. I think one of the biggest tips I can give you guys and one that I should have followed more when I was studying for the DAT is, you know, when I was studying, I would go over the practice tests and kind of nonchalantly, and I wouldn't really, really focus and really try and understand each question. I would always try and go on to the next question so I could, you know, kind of like complete the task and check it off. But you're there to learn. So when you go over the questions, really review them carefully, review your right answer as, as well as the wrong answers. Um, I'm pretty sure in Ari's guide, it tells you how to go over the question. Even if you got one right, you want to go over the other answers to see what else you can learn. Finally, take care of yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You're going to be devoting, I recommend, three months of your life towards this. Within these three months, you're going to have to be cutting back on some of the things that you enjoy, not socializing as much or partying as much or watching Netflix shows, whatever you like to do, you're gonna have to cut back a little. Obviously spend some time doing what you like and keeping your mind sane and sharp. Get a lot of sleep, rest easy, good nutrition, all of that, exercise, keep doing it, and hopefully you'll crush the DAT. Oh, also challenge, beat my score. Not too hard to do, I got a 19 AA. I'm sure that most of you guys watching this video are very keen and can beat my score. So do that and get back to me. So with that, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, okay? Go subscribe and comment and all of that good stuff to share this video to more people. Um, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Any video ideas, leave them down below and beat my score on the DAT.